<laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sorry. We're dealing with a lot of butternut squash these days, uh, especially here at the restaurant at Firefly. And so it was brought to my attention that some people may or may not know how to um, cut, clean, and prep uh, butternut squash. So first of all, butternut squash kind of has a, um, a starch that it gives off, uh, especially when you're handling it and you remove the skin. So one of the things I always recommend is uh, wearing gloves anytime that you're gonna clean or cut butternut squash. This is actually a really nice variety. This is actually known as Tahitian butternut squash. Um, it's an heirloom variety. Um, it's, the quali it's what we like to use uh, anytime that we're making our soup um, or picking it up in sets or something along those lines. Anytime that you're working with any sort of vegetable, you want to, you know, you want to make it as um, easy to handle as possible. So that's kind of what we're going to start with. So to make our first initial cuts, I always like to take the stem off and the bottom. And then basically this is all solid fruit. As it bulbs out, that's where the seeds sit. So what we're gonna try to do is cut it uh, right on the top of where the bulb starts. Easy enough. So from this point, it makes it much easier to handle rather than trying to scrape down the sides. These are kind of a handy dandy European peeler. Um, they just make peeling just a little bit easier. So once you have it all peeled, you can kind of set it aside. You want to clean up your mess. One of the most common injuries, you know, when dealing with foods and things, is a lot of times if you have scraps or, or peppers and the outside shell is there, it can cause your knife to slip if it's not real sharp. So one of the things is I always recommend when you break out your mise en place, you do one thing and then the next. That way you don't have, you know, the danger of the loose stuff hanging around. So we're just going to clean this up real quick. And staying with what we've been talking about, we keep taking the fruit down to make it easier and easier to handle. So this is a much safer cut than trying to take it down from the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just break it into more approachable parts. That way it's not so tippy, it's got more structure to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim these. Now I always like to hang on to these trimmings and you, know, you can either um, steam them, um, mash them, kind of whatever. But we're gonna try to shape this so we can get better cuts out of it. Now you're just kind of dealing with a square block. Much easier to cut than something that's round. So we're gonna cut these into about quarter inch, quarter inch dices. So we're gonna come back through these, about equal the same size. So needless to say, we've gone from this to this to this, then to this. And that's how we work with butternut squash here at Firefly Grill.